single strand knots. I hate them so much, but we gotta talk about them. Hey YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Alyssa Marie here, just in case you are new. Today I'm gonna talk all about single strand knots. That is one of those major curly girl problems that every girl with thick curly hair is gonna face at some point. It's kind of inevitable, and if it gets to the point where it's like excessive, it can then cause some crazy damage in your curls. So today I'm gonna talk all about it get into all the details as usual but first before we get started please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also tap that notification bell just in case you want a notification every single time a new video drops and now let's get started all right so we're just going to jump straight in first things first what are single strand knots if you have thick curly hair girl you need to know about this so single strand knots are also known as fairy knots sometimes and it's basically when one strand of hair kind of loops around itself to create a knot. So single strand knots definitely show up more with longer hair. I personally did not deal with any single strand knots for at least like the first year of my natural hair journey. But now that my hair is like completely growing out right now I'm at like over almost like two and a half years of being natural. My hair is definitely a lot longer and I have been noticing the single strand knots. Sometimes single strand knots can actually even cause larger knots as well. Y'all know how curly hair is, it's crazy, it's always bobbing and weaving and all over the place. So our curls really tend to like curl up around each other. And yeah, it's cute, but sometimes it's not so cute when it turns into knots on knots on knots. So the trouble with them is not only that they cause like more and more knots, but also they can cause like some serious breakage issues if it's very excessive. So like imagine your hair strand, it has a knot and then you're continuing to try and detangle your curls every week and that kind of puts pressure on the hair, you're tugging at it. Eventually, when you tug on that hair strand the wrong way, it's gonna pop and break off where that knot is. And then breakage in your hair can then lead to a whole other host of damage to your curls that you just don't wanna have to deal with. So it's really important to kind of know about single strand knots and try and prevent them as much as you possibly can. So I'm gonna go over all of these steps, but you're about to realize that these are just regular natural hair care steps and ways to keep your hair as healthy as possible in general. So the real aim of the game is to treat your hair with that TLC that I'm always preaching to you guys and to just make sure that you're being consistent and just being gentle and good to your hair in order for it to be healthy as possible. Healthier curls are better curls always. All right, so the first thing that you can do to avoid single strand knots is to get regular trims. I always like to suggest every four to six months for trims for curly girls, especially if you are looking to continue to grow out your hair. If you are in a style that you really like your length, you like your style, you don't really want it to grow out more necessarily, then you can do your trims much more frequent than that. When you do notice single strand knots in your curls, you can also trim those off in order to prevent any further breakage. I do have to say that you need to use hair scissors because hair scissors are very different from paper scissors like the regular office scissors. Regular scissors are a lot more dull than hair scissors and then that can end up causing different types of damage to your hair. So you want to make sure that if you are going to go ahead and try and trim off some of your single strand knots, just make sure that you're using the right pair of hair scissors. Another thing that you can do to avoid single strand knots a little bit is to style your hair without using any tools. So I've always kind of preached to you guys the importance of finger detangling instead of using tools. If you guys have seen my Denman Brush video, you'll see one video where I used it for the first time and I was super impressed and then a few weeks later I did another video to tell y'all that it was completely damaging my curls. So honestly, I've always personally been a fan of finger detangling over tools. It's just healthier and much more gentle on your curls. When you're using a brush, it kind of encourages you to just, I don't know, just like kind of pull through your hair with the brush. But like with your fingers, when you're combing it through, you can actually feel the knots and it forces you to stop and just be more gentle and like finger detangle a little bit more slowly in places where there might be more knots. Brushes like the Denman brush also encourage your hair to kind of spring back up and that springing action can really cause your curls to wrap around each other in like a pattern that's not necessarily natural for your curl pattern and then that again can cause more looping, tangling, and knotting. I know finger detangling is not the easiest. The longer my hair grows, the more I'm like, Ugh, do I have to? But I promise at the end of the day, it is so, 
so worth it. All right, so moving right along, another thing that you can do in order to avoid single strand knots is to make sure that you're consistently deep conditioning every single week. Again, another tip that I'm always preaching to you guys. Now, speaking of treatments, this actually brings me to my next point, which is making sure that your hair has a nice, healthy balance between moisture and protein. So I really spoke more about this and kind of showed exactly what I use in order to make sure I get a good, healthy balance in my other video where I talked all about my favorite natural hair treatments. So I will tag that somewhere up here for you guys to check out if you're interested in that as well. But this is another thing that you can do in order to avoid single strand knots. If your hair is out of balance, like it's a little bit too dry or it has a little bit too much protein or it's like over moisturized, which is actually a thing then that's when more issues like single strand knots can appear. So it's really important to make sure that you're getting that healthy balance. My last tip is just making sure that you're putting some effort into your nighttime care. So at night, you're gonna wanna make sure that you're first of all making sure that your hair is not being subjected to cotton all night because cotton is completely drying, it causes frizz, it's just like terrible for curly hair. So you can just use a silk or satin pillowcase like I do, I like to keep it very simple. I don't wanna have to wrap my hair every single night, so that's kind of what I do. Or you can go ahead and wrap your curls with the silk or satin wrap that you have, whatever works best for you. But if you are like me and you are using a silk or satin pillowcase, you still wanna find a way to kind of put your curls away. I feel like sleeping with it out and wild and crazy kind of can just cause a lot of issues, especially if your hair is longer, lots of knots and just craziness. So you wanna make sure that your hair is kind of put away at night. And how I like to do it is just kind of loop my hair up into a high, loose ponytail. This is my favorite way to do it, especially if I don't want any curl disruption. So that way, when your hair is nice and up, it's kind of put away, it's not gonna be moving around too much at night, and then it's not on cotton as well, it's on a silk or satin pillowcase and boom, you're done. You've done the best that you could possibly do for nighttime. So if you have tried all of these things and you are still kind of struggling with your curls in terms of breakage and you're noticing lots of extra knots and stuff, then my next suggestion would be to go and find a licensed curly girl hairstylist and talk to them about it. There may be some underlying cause or some underlying issues that are giving you all that trouble. They're the ones that have done the studying, they have their degrees, they know the science side of actual hair. So it's really important that if you feel like your back's against the wall, you don't know what to do next, that is the best thing that you can do. I do wanna know that I do all of these things and I still notice one and two single strand knots in my hair, and that is completely normal, that is completely fine. Don't freak out if you see single strand knots. The only time it'll really become a problem is if it's like super excessive. So yeah guys, that is basically it for this video. That is all I know on single strand knots and how you can possibly prevent them. I really hope you found this useful. If you have any additional tips, go ahead and comment them below. And if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. And if you didn't subscribe in the beginning, use Naughty, but go ahead and subscribe right now. And then you can check out two more videos. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.